Welcome to Rethink, the podcast that empowers you to challenge your existing beliefs and embrace new, more productive ways of thinking. Here at Rethink, we believe that the key to self-fulfillment lies in shattering old thought patterns and adopting new mindsets that support personal growth and empowerment. With expert guests and thought leaders from a wide range of fields, we explore strategies and insights that can help you achieve success and fulfillment in all areas of your life. From relationships to career, business ownership, and health, you are the source of your own success. We're just here to help you tap into your true potential and create a brighter future. So join us on the journey of personal growth and empowerment and let's rethink what's possible for our lives. Comparison is something that we all struggle with, whether it is in our personal lives, in our relationships and things like that, our our bodies, our own growth, or it can be in our careers. We struggle with comparing ourselves to others in our age group, uh, in our careers, and also in entrepreneurship and, you know, how much, how big and how broad and all that sort of thing. So comparison can become this thing where it can kind of take a hold of you and maybe even paralyze you to some degree in terms of where do you go next? It certainly provides a lot of stress if you don't feel like you're keeping up uh, with your counterparts. So how do we stop comparing ourselves to others and focus on our own journey? One of the first things that I think you're going to find is that you need to understand that everyone is actually on their own journey. We live in a society where uh, we've got somewhat cookie cutter education and then also um, employment and job types of placement. And it appears that we're all sort of competing for these roles, you know, who can get the better grades, who can go to the better colleges. And that, of course, is going to promote some level of um, betterment in our careers, et cetera, et cetera. And this is not to downplay the importance of education or the importance of of, uh, of job placement, because everything has its own role. But if you listen to a podcast like this, uh, I think you are in a level of understanding, a level of consciousness that most people are not. So you understand that you are not a competitor, that you are actually a creator. So does it matter if you went to high school or college or got placed at AT AT&T or or whatever the job is? Not really, not really. But it does matter that you are aware in terms of the importance of knowledge uh, and educating yourself on how to Bring your talent, your skill, your best self to the table, to this environment and live the most productive, whatever that is, the most productive and full life that you can while you're here. And so that may involve you going to college. It may involve uh, you working in an institution for a certain amount of time. And there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, But what that does, it allows you to be in the world and not of the world. So you can participate in some of these systematic uh, events, but you can you don't have to necessarily buy into it. So what happens? Well, uh, if we're comparing ourselves to others and somehow we've lost focus of our own journey. And so today the goal is to get us back on track with our own journey. So this is going to be really three podcasts in one because I'm going to refer you to two other podcasts that are going to really help you uh, to establish or reestablish what your own journey actually is. So um, the opportunity today is um, or, or why this is important, you know, comparison, understanding what comparison is and why it's important not to do comparison drains us of our energy. And it creates unnecessary stress and it keeps us from experiencing joy in our lives, in our present moment. So when we're focused on what others have, uh, what they're doing and we're not doing, of course, we disconnect from our own purpose and therefore we can disconnect from our own potential. So the silver lining here, though, is that these feelings that come up, the comparison they can actually guide you to discover more about yourself. 
Comparison reveals our true desires. It challenges our limiting beliefs and it pushes us to realign with our own path because it gets frustrating when you keep going back and forth comparing yourself to someone else. The opportunities here is number one, reclaiming your personal power. How do you do that? Well, comparison often takes power away from us. It makes us feel like others dictate our worth. If you've ever been in that mindset, in that state, in that environment, you feel less than. This is If you're comparing yourself, uh, you're not feeling great about it, it's creating stress. It's usually because you feel less than. If you ever do a comparison to someone and you feel like you're doing a much greater job than they are, then there's no stress involved. There's a lot of ego involved, but there's very little stress. So by focusing on our own journey, we can take back our sense of power. So the first opportunity here is reclaiming our personal power. Secondly, uh, enhance self-awareness. Comparison helps highlight the areas where we need healing or where we want to have some additional growth. It allows us to bring more awareness into these areas, into these areas. And then lastly, connecting to our inner purpose, which is really the solution for today. When we stop looking around for validation, comparing ourselves, we start to uncover what truly matters to us. And that is our own inner purpose. The truth of the matter is your inner purpose could be very, very different from mine. Your path, of course, could be very, very different from mine. Um, Our issue uh, comes into where one um, seems to align maybe with what society agrees with versus the other. And so you think that maybe this person is doing something better than you are. This is right. Mine is wrong, et cetera, et cetera. And here comes the stress. The two of the podcasts that I'm going to refer you to, one is titled, um, and, and once you hear the title, you'll understand why. One is titled uh, Reconstructing Your Self-Concept. Now, the self-concept is very important because the self-concept is the core and the foundation upon which our successes are built. That's who you believe yourself to be, your core concept who you believe yourself to be. If we're going to get back to focusing on our own journey, then we've got to reestablish who it is that we believe ourselves to be. And uh, our podcast, Reconstructing Yourself Concept, was a very strong podcast that talked about how to do exactly that. Construct Yourself Concept. So I want you to go back once we're done here. And if you do need some additional guidance or just to hear it again, listen to that podcast. I'll put the link into our show note. Listen to that podcast again. I think it can be very, very helpful for you. And then the next thing after that is creating a personal mission statement. This was also another podcast that we did. Uh, This may be intuitive as well, but creating the mission statement helps us to understand our personal purpose what it is and why it is we're doing what we're doing. So sometimes when you get in a gray space of life, you have to remind yourself of your whys. If, for example, you've left your corporate environment that felt very safe, you know, the biweekly stipends felt very safe and you've gone out into this entrepreneurship and you feel like you're out in this gray ocean and being tossed to and fro, you must uh, find yourself, you must ground yourself in f- remembering your whys. Why did I start off on this to begin with? And your whys could be the establishment of a family business for my, for the longevity of my family. I want my kids to have something that I've never had, et cetera, et cetera. But whatever your whys are, you got to go back and remember what those are so that you can you know, generate some additional energy, you can ground yourself and the stress can kind of fall away. And then you can start all over again by saying, okay, this is why I'm doing this in the first place. You can get your second breath and you can kind of keep going forward. So uh, our question for today is how do I stop comparing myself to others and focus on my own journey? I've offered you these two other podcasts to listen to after this, but I want to offer you within this particular talk, the power of connecting deeper with your inner purpose. Aligning with your inner purpose is going to help you to stay on track. I will tell you from personal experience, when I am more in tune with my purpose, my inner purpose, and that means writing it down, journaling it, reminding myself on a regular basis, I find myself comparing myself a lot less. 
uh, in the space that I'm in, especially uh, in social media, particularly on YouTube and, and different podcast platforms, sometimes I am listening to or do come across other content creators where they're doing similar messages. And what happens? Well, what happens when you go on social media and you're a content creator? You look at the number of, of views and the number of likes and the comments and the activity that seemingly would say, OK, this person's generating, you know, a, you know, better content or this person is able to do this better than I am. Why is it my channel doing this, et cetera? So it's very easy to get into that trap. So one of the things that I offered uh, in a couple of podcasts ago when we started talking about surrendering and meditation, I said that social media, taking a break from social media would really, really benefit us, all of us greatly. And so in this case, uh, if you cannot uh, consume any social media without having those comparisons and it's bringing stress to you, then I would say the same recommendation is that you would distance yourself from social media, very limited social media, if any, uh, and see what the difference is. Just see what the difference is. All right, so let's talk about the solution. The best way to move beyond comparison, again, is to align with your inner purpose. So when you connect with your true self, we understand that the journey is a unique one. Okay, so if it's unique, that means there um, most of us, if not all of us, and I believe all of us, are on our own path. The paths may look similar at certain stages of our lives, and we may actually be headed toward the same goal, but we're, we're on a different road. And your speed may be different than mine. Your depth may be less than mine. Your height may be higher than mine, but it doesn't really matter because all roads lead to the same end. So the inner purpose is a concept, uh, for example, that's rooted in a lot of different teachings. For example, Eckhart Tolle's teaching, which emphasizes living from a place of being rather than a place of striving or constantly doing a place of being. So by connecting with our inner purpose, we can stop uh, needing external validation. I find that especially in this day and age, uh, again, back to social media, there's a lot of desire for external validation. That's really what social media uh, is about in, in, in large part in terms of the interaction. We're looking for some sort of validation. Do you like me? Am I pretty? Is this good information? Is this entertaining? Uh, because it's so interactive. Unlike TV, where someone can just, you know, like your picture immediately as soon as you put it out there. No one can do that uh, on on TV necessarily. Uh, they can turn the channel, but you don't know it immediately. Uh, so we have moved into a a digital age where we're connected with the world. So you, whether you want it or not, if you're in that space, and especially if you are a digital creator, you can garner and gain the attention, wanted or unwanted, of the world. So you're going to know pretty quickly uh, what people think of you. And most of the time, that's more information than many of us want. And it brings about a lot of stress. So again, my uh, contention here is my suggestion is for you to limit your social media, particularly if it is creating a lot of stress for you. But let's get to the, to the inner workings and why you're comparing yourself in the first place or how to keep from preparing yourself in the first place. Everything has to do with connecting to your inner self. So how do we stay connected to our inner self and to our inner purpose? Number one, let's practice daily presence uh, uh, meditation or mindfulness. What does that mean? So Eckhart Tolle teaches the presence uh, in terms of uncovering our inner purpose, the keys to uncovering our inner purpose. You can start each day with a few minutes of mindful breathing or meditation, ground yourself in the present moment, and simply observe your thoughts without any judgment. And the key part there is without judgment. Let them come, let them go, no judgment. This practice can calm your mind, help keep you grounded, it quiets your ego, and yes, it allows you to connect with your true self. And by connecting with your true self, you can stay in touch with your purpose. Your purpose. Number two is identifying our core values. If you, Again, if you went back through the Reconstructing Yourself concept, that's really what that podcast is about. What are your core values? 
Uh, here on the podcast, we talk about fulfillment. We talk about the idea of your work, you know, your life's work, meeting your life's passion. You have the greatest opportunity to to be fulfilled. And that's really what you want. Yes, the money and the resources and things like that will come. But fulfillment uh, is what we're really after. A lot of times we seek, you know, new, better, bigger. And when we get those things, we're not really fulfilled. Why? Because it's not a part of our Passion is not a part of our work. Okay? So identify those core values. And then lastly, release the need of comparison. Your egos need a comparison. So comparison is driven by ego desire. You want to be better than, bigger than, greater than, and these sorts of things. When you notice yourself comparing, pause and gently remind yourself that the journey is your own. You're not comparing yourself to anyone. Matter of fact, you're not even in competition. You are in creation, if anything. So Eckhart Tolle encourages observing the ego from a distance and not letting it take control of you. Simply, again, practicing that mindfulness meditation, you can uh, get a sense of peace and freedom from comparison. All right. So uh, daily practices that can uh, additional daily practices that can help support your alignment with your with your inner purpose. Once you get into uh, the inner purpose piece, if you haven't done this already, in your journal, uh, when you're going to create your self-concept and create and write down your mission statement, write out your purpose. You know, your purpose may change throughout your life. So uh, it may be project by project based. Maybe once you're finished with this particular project, you move on to something different. It's a different purpose. But make sure it's written down somewhere where you can read it and reflect and remind yourself of what it is you're doing. And then keep close to that. Your why's. Why am I doing it? So in other words, you should have your purpose written down. And below there, maybe three to five why's. Why am I on this particular track? So imagine what your life would be like if you were fully focused on your own journey, not someone else's, on your own journey, free from the burden of comparison. Number one, it'd be a lot less stressful. So when you align with your inner purpose, become... um, you can become a source of peace, not just for yourself, but for those around you. You can also become a source of confidence and ultimately, yes, fulfillment. Let's focus on our inner peace. Feel more grounded, peaceful, and self-assured. Living with purpose makes uh, every step of our journey meaningful, regardless of someone else's path. Here are some daily practices that can help keep us aligned. Number one is to set daily intentions. It can help you to stay aligned. I can tell you from the days that I actually do it to the days that I don't, that I drift on the days where I don't. I always have a notebook pad on my desk and I'm always jotting down things I want to get accomplished for the day. Those are my daily intentions. So begin each day with your intentions that can help you stay aligned with your purpose. Number two, engage in self-reflection. Every now and then, stop, reflect. How's your day going? How are the thoughts that you're entertaining? Or is there any negative self-talk taking place? If so, let's redirect the mind to something more positive. Uh, again, you want to keep close to your whys. Why am I doing what I'm doing? Number three, use a presence reminder. A presence reminder. Set reminders on your phone if you have to that says to breathe or to be present or to remind yourself of your whys or to focus on your purpose. Whatever the keys are that can take you from the gray area back onto the highway, if you will, set your phone, I don't know, every two hours or so and say, hey, breathe. Take a deep breath. Everything's okay. You're on the right path. Uh, we're, we're, we're moving toward our goal, be present, these sorts of things. We're getting notifications on the phones anyway. You may as well use them, uh, for good. Um, affirmations. I do like the idea of in the morning, starting off with positivity, your affirmations, what are you going to accomplish for the day? Uh, and then at night, what went well for the day and what you're going to accomplish for tomorrow. Speak nice to yourself in the morning and speak even nicer to yourself in the evenings before you go to bed and begin to adjust your mindset even before you go to sleep for that next day. That's very, very important. And then lastly, always surround yourself with positivity. Surround yourself with purposeful inspiration. Spend time with people 
like-minded people read books, content, consume content that really resonates. Again, this is why you listen to a podcast like this. Resonate with people who are going to reinforce and reciprocate in terms of the energy that you're putting out. You want to be around like-minded people and like-minded people will understand what it is you're going through, why it is you're going through and the importance of regenerating or giving back the same sort of energy to you as you're giving out and how important that is. All right. So let's recap. Today's big question is, how do I stop comparing myself to others and focus on my own journey? The answer is to focus on your inner purpose. Staying focused on your inner purpose is going to help you to stay focused on your journey and not on someone else's. How are you going to do that? Well, one, you're going to establish or reestablish your self-concept. You're going to write down your mission statement and that mission statement, you're going to formulate your inner purpose. You're going to keep it close by because right underneath there, you're going to have your whys. Why am I doing what I'm doing? You're going to keep it close to you and you're going to remind yourself every day of what it is and why it is you're doing. Thanks for listening, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. That's all for today's episode of Rethink. We hope that you've enjoyed this exploration of new ideas and perspectives and found valuable insights and strategies that you can apply to your life. Remember, you are the source of your own success and fulfillment. And by embracing new ways of thinking, you can unlock your true potential and yes, create the life that you truly desire. Now, if you've enjoyed this episode, we encourage you to support the podcast by sharing it with your friends, your family members, your loved ones and associates, and even your followers on social media. Also, leave us a review on your favorite podcast platform. Lastly, don't forget to check out our show notes for free downloads and empowering ebooks that can help you on your journey of personal growth and empowerment. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. We look forward to exploring more ideas and insights with you in the next episode of Rethink.